Hello. 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 Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you tonight? I'm happy. Okay, that's good to hear. So before we start, let me ask you first, or let's check if, can you hear me clearly right now? Yes. Okay, that's good. How about my screen? Can you see it clearly as well? Yes. Okay, perfect. So for now, let's start. So tonight we are going to discuss or our first topic. It's here which have the letter A first, and then these are the different words together with the pictures. So we have one, two, three, four. So let's start number one. What is this? It's colorful. Exactly. Very good. Number two? It's graceful. Graceful. Number three? Delicious. Number four? Uh, delicious. Okay, and number three? is expensive. Okay, exactly. So we have number one, colorful, graceful, expensive, and delicious. So next, let's have the letter B. Okay, so now the letter B, we have the first animal. What is this? It's... That is a, is a polar bear. Exactly. This is a polar bear. So please read this one. The polar bear is the least colorful. Okay. How about the second? A squirrel. The squirrel is less colorful than right. the frog. Correct. How about this one? The frog is colorful. All right. How about next? The fish is more colorful than the frog. Okay, very good. Last one. The bird is the most colorful. Okay, that's correct. Very good. So now I have a few questions for you. So please tell me. What is your answer or what kind of animal is this? Okay. So my first question, what do you call this animal which is less colorful than the frog? Less colorful than the frog. It's the squirrel. Okay, exactly. Very good. The next question, what do you call this animal which is the most colorful? The most colorful is bird. Okay, very good. That's correct. How about the next question? So, what do you call this animal which is the least colorful? It's polar bear. Exactly. That's correct. Answer next question will be, what do you call this animal which is colorful? What? What do you call this animal which is colorful? It's it just is... a colorful animal. It's the... It's a bird. Okay. Um, it's the colorful, which is... It's a frog. Okay, it's the frog. Very good. Next, last question. What do you call this animal which is more colorful than the frog? More colorful than the frog. It's a fish. Okay, exactly. Very good. Okay, so we're done for letter B. Next, let's have now the letter C which is S and answer. Okay, so here. Can you please read the conversation? Yes. Kate and Jenny are in a zoo gift shop. They are comparing gifts. Okay, so this is all about Kate and Jenny are in the zoo gift shop. They are comparing their gifts. Okay, so Kate and Jenny comparing their gifts. So now, what do you call 
this animal, which is carrying this by fish. her. Okay, this is fish. How about the other one? It's a frog. Okay, it's a frog. Okay, how about number two? What is this? It's a... It's a, a expensive. Okay, very good. All right, next, we have here two boxes. Please read. Yes, which one is colorful? The fish is more colorful. The, which one is less colorful? The frog is less colorful. Okay, very good. So the question for number one is, which one is more colorful? The answer is? It, the fish is more colorful. Very good. Which one is less colorful? The answer is? The answer is the frog. Okay, the frog is less colorful. Okay, very good. Next, we have here another page, which is the letter D. Okay, so Please. these, okay, these pictures are graceful. Can you read again? Graceful. Very good. This one? Delicious. How about this? Colorful. Okay, exactly. This one? Expensive. All right, very good. How about this one? Delicious. Okay, this one? Expensive. How about this? Grateful. And last one? Colorful. Okay, very good. So... For letter E, ask and answer, look at the pictures in letter D. So here is the question, please read. Yes. Uh, is the sh skirt more expensive than the shirt? Yes, it is. No, okay. it isn't. All right, so is the skirt more expensive than the shirt? So what's your answer? Is it yes, it is, or no, it isn't? If you're going to take a look this side. The answer is? Is. Uh, no, it isn't. Okay, it's no, it isn't. All right, so now let's go back below. Okay, so next one or another lesson, which is the letter A, listen and read along, then read again. So now we have here different animals. So the first animal, please read. Yes. Polar bear have a good sense of smell. They can smell fish under the ice from far away. They are strong and they can smash open ice block to catch the fish. Okay, very good. How about this one? Uh, zebra are not colorful and they can't change change color but every every zebra is striped or driven just like fingers fingerprint okay very good next animal is this one the mimic octopus is in colorful but is but it can change its color and shape. It can it can look like a jellyfish, a snake, a snake of fifteen different animal. Okay, very good. And the next animal. 
Mm -hmm. A human bird is one of the smallest and lightest bird. It is lighter than a coin and it can fly backward. Okay, very good. Last animal we have. A box jellyfish has a twenty four eyes. It is shaped like a box. Okay, very good. Exactly. So let's go back here. I have a few questions for you. So just tell me what kind of animal is this. Okay. So just like what we did earlier. All right. So what do you call this animal? which is isn't colorful but can change its color and shape it can look like a jellyfish a snake or 15 different animals is a um, mimic octopus okay very good that's correct next animal is what do you call this animal which are not colorful and they can change color but every zebra stripes are different just like fingerprints is a zebra okay the answer is zebra very good so next question what do you call this animal which have a good sense of smell they can smell fish under the eyes from far away and they are strong and they can smash Open ice blocks to catch the fish. It's a polar bear. Okay, it's the polar bears. Very good. Next question. What do you call this animal which has 24 eyes and it is also shaped like a box? It's a jellyfish. Okay, it's a jellyfish or box jellyfish okay last question what do you call this animal which is one of the smallest and lightest birds and it is also the lighter than a coin and it can fly backwards is a human bird okay it's the human bird okay so these are the animals about this lesson which is what do you know about animals so the first animal which is the polar bear the zebra the mimic octopus the human bird and last one a box jellyfish okay so now please read the new words inside the box yes new words mass human being like word mimic october change fingerprint jellyfish Shift. Okay, very good. So now let's have the questions. Okay, for the letter B, choose the correct answer. So you're going to choose either letter A or letter B. Okay, so the first question, what animal can change color and shape? Mm. Is jellyfish. I know, okay. it's a mimic octopus. All right, animal that can change color and shape. Okay, very good. It's the mimic octopus. It's here. Okay, animal can change its color and shape. Very good answer. Okay, next for the number two question. Is a coin heavier than a human bird? Yes or no? No. Okay, the answer is... No, isn't. All right, very good. So for the letter C, understand the vocabulary. It can look like 15 different animals. So the question is, what does look like mean? Is it A, B, or C? Mm. Is is uh, C 
Okay, it's the letter C. Okay. All right, very good. Next, we have the letter D. Okay, what bird can fly backwards? Uh, is a... Uh... It's the... It's the human bird. Okay, very good. It's the human bird. Okay, so next question. All right, number two. Which animal is the most interesting and why? Mm -hmm. So which of these animals for you, what do you, or what can you say about the most interesting animals? Is it the polar bear, the zebra, the mimic octopus, a box jellyfish, or a human bird? Is the mimic octopus. Okay, what can, or I mean, what can you say? Or why can you say the mimic octopus is the most interesting animal? Because it is can change a color and shape. Okay, very good. All right, thank you so much for your answers. Next, let's have now the letter E. So for the letter E, this is the next activity, which is you're going to answer either A or or IR. Okay. So number one, what is this? It's a bird. Very good. So that is IR. Number two? It's a sock. Okay. It's a scarf or AR. Scarf. Number, okay. Scarf. Number three? It's a third. Okay. That is third. Or IR. How about number four? Is AR. Okay, AR or card number five? Card. Five is shark. Okay, that is shark. Or the answer is AR. All right. So very good. Next, let's have the letter F. So we have here small smallest okay so small plus est becomes smallest okay so how about light plus est it's, becomes it's a lightest okay lightest very good now let's proceed for the number two from the word slow slow plus est becomes slowest Exactly. Slowest. Okay, the next word, which is tall. Tall plus EST becomes? Is tallest. Tallest. Last one, strong. Strongest. Okay, strongest. Exactly. Next, we have here, listen and check. So here, what do you call these pictures? What? What do you call these pictures? These are the... It's a, it's a cheese. Okay. These are the cheese. How about the number two? It's a plastic. Okay. Uh, it's a bottle of water. Okay. Bottle of water. Number three? It's a fruit. Okay. Fruits. How about four? Is a cookie. Okay. So, do you like to eat cheese? No. How about drinking water? Yes. How about eating fruits? Yes. Eating cookies? Yes. Okay, I see. All right. So, now let's have the letter B. Listen and circle. So now, you're going to tell me if it is slower or faster, okay? Understood? Yes. All right. So I will tell you animals, okay? Yes. So which animal that moves slower? Is it turtle or it could be a dog? Animals that turtle. moves slower. It's the it's turtle. 
turtle. turtle. Okay, very good. How about the number two, which have here? It's the larger or the smaller? Okay. What? Okay, you can choose your answer either a larger or smaller. A, larger, or it could be smaller. Okay? So, yes. this animal is an elephant. So, what's your answer? An elephant, is that animal which is larger or smaller? It's larger. Okay, the answer is larger. larger. Or it could be bigger. Okay, very good. So, now the next... Okay, what do you call this animal? Can you tell me what is this? It's a polar bear. Okay, how about the letter A? It's a squirrel. And the letter C? It's a bird. How about this one? It's a rhino. Correct. Letter B? Zebra. And last one. Rescue. These are the. It's a banana. Okay, these are the banana. Okay, this fruit are the bananas. Okay, so very good. Next, we have the letter D. Let's read about a panda kindergarten. So we have here John and Lisa's travel blog so this one is john this one is lisa okay so now let's find out about their travel okay so now please read in the garden china this week we are volunteering at a panda king garden every morning we clean uh, the panda roof and then we feed them they eat a lot of bamboo every day panda also like carrot and apple we didn't know that newborn panda are very small the they are about as light as a stick of butter, yeah. but they grow quickly. We're watching a panda. They, mm, they really like to play band. Baby panda to like to tumble, climb, and chase. They are very fun. All right, very good. So that is all about their adventure or it could be their travel. Okay, so what about you? How many pets do you have at home? Do you have pets at home? No. Okay, how about this new words? Please read the other side. Yes. Kindergarten, bamboo, carrot, newborn, stick of butter, tumble. Okay, so we have here last question. Do you like to watch baby animals? Or what do they do? Are they funny? For example, this panda. Do you think this baby panda looks very cute? Yes. Okay. All right, very good. Next, let's have the unit three. It's all about Jenny, Scott, and uh, yes, there are just two here, okay, which are Jenny and Scott. So please read their conversation. Start here. Yes, okay. Jenny, how was your weekend? Scott, it's was great. How was your Jenny? It was pretty good. Good. Scott, what did you do? Jenny, my brother and I went to 
went for a bike ride. Yenny, uh, no, it's called Scott. That show like fun. Yenny, what did you do last week? Can Scott, we I went to I went shopping and bought this new bike. Jenny, wow, I like it. Scott, thanks. All right, very good. So this is all about Jenny and Scott. Okay, so now please tell me the name of this person based on their uh, conversation. Okay, so yes. my first question, who said this one? Okay, who said this one? My brother and I went for a bike ride. My brother and I went for a bike ride. Is Jenny. Okay, very good. Now, the next question, who said this one? I went shopping and bought this new bike. I went shopping and bought this new bike. Who's that? Okay, the answer is Scott. Next question, who said this one? It was great. How was yours? Scott. Okay, very good. Next, who said this one? Wow, I like it. That uh, is Jenny. Okay, very good. Next question. Who said this one? That sounds like fun. It's Scott. Okay, how about this one? Who said this words? What? Okay, the next one, who said this word? Okay, how was your weekend? Who said it's that Jenny. one? It's Jenny. Okay, so these are the short story, which are Jenny and Scott. And then what do you think this picture is? What are they doing in this picture? Is the is go to ride a bike okay so they're just riding their bike okay very good now please read this one yes how was your weekend it was great it was pretty good your... okay all right how was your weekend so what's your answer what do you think is it, it was great or it was pretty good? It was great. Okay, and then who said that one? It was great. Who said that one? Is Scott or Jenny? Is Scott. Okay, it's Scott. Okay, very good. All right. So, how about this word? Please read. Yes. Your, uh, your weekend. Okay. Yours, your weekend. Okay. How about you? Do you have bike at home? Yes. Okay. So, do you love riding a bike? Do you know how to ride already? Yes. Do you know? What? Do you know how to ride a bike? Yes. Okay, that's good to hear. Okay, so where do you usually play your bike? Is it outside your home or going to playground? I'm going to supermarket to buy a food to help mom. Oh, I see. Well, that's good to hear. So you're going to ride a bike if your mother is asking you to buy something at the market am i right yes okay wow well, that's good to hear okay so i think that's all for tonight so thank you so much for joining the class and hope to see you again bye bye see you in next meeting thank you bye bye, bye, -bye.